So the little interesting thing with this channel, a lot of the times on my thumbnails, and yes, on my thumbnails, the product that you're seeing, I actually take a photo of, then I cut out everything else, because I like the, having the authenticity of actually being a photo of the actual thing on the thumbnail that I am opening, not just an image that I found online. I, I like that authenticity. Uh, but anyways, you might notice that. I've said before that I don't like removing price tags from products for the sake of the thumbnail because you tend to get some scuffing and stuff that doesn't come off right. I decided, like, you know what? I don't like the look of the, thumbnail, of the price tag, especially because it's, like, covering the Maridon. I'm going to remove it, and in my opinion, it just made the thumbnail look worse. So hopefully I did a good job of cleaning that up in post. But for anybody who watches my channel and is, like, even, like, slightly bothered by the fact that I have the price tag on uh, the thumbnail, now you see my pain and why I don't like to do it most of the time. I hate how often these are warped from these larger five pack tins. The, they, the, these things always get warped. Like, look at that. It it, it just it just doesn't sit flat. It, do, it don't sit flat. But anyways, uh, we take that out and let's go ahead and take a look at our packs before anything else. So we have a Paldea Evolved, a second Paldea Evolved, a Scarlet and Violet Base, Silver Tempest, and Brilliant Stars, my boy! You're being saved till the end. But let's also take a look at the promo card that comes with this thing. Can you guess what it will be? Wrong, it was a Maridon, you idiot. We have the Maridon EX. Of course, this boy's super important because that's the deck that I started kind of learning the TCG lit with. Mostly thanks to the Tandem unit. Get one of this guy in your hand and you already have your bench filled with, you know, exactly what you want to have in it. Extraordinarily useful card, and this 10 is a great way to just immediately get you this EX. And then, of course, we have the uh, code for the entire thing, if you would like it in the TCG. But let's start off here with our Sword and Shield Silver Tempest. God, I've done so much Silver Tempest. <laughs> if, uh, uh, like, we're gonna have to get a good pull for this to, like, really matter, because every single thing in this I have seen a billion times. Uh, oh, that that era where Silver Tempest was just like the easiest thing to find in every like at least from where I shop, um, like card store was able to get it in in bulk, but like nothing else. Like this channel is pretty heavily Silver Tempest themed for a while. We have the Haunch Crow, and behind that a Hollow Metacham. Yay! I am hoping to at least get my Hollow Metacham collection to 20 cards by the end of the year, and I'm assuming that I'm close. All right, Scarlet and Violet time, which means the pack trick has to change. First and foremost, this has to face us unless you want to see the code card. Then you pull out the code card. And I, I, I don't know if this is like a common thing, but I don't like to pull out the energy because sometimes I need to slide out the energy. I'm gonna try, no, it's just not, it's just not worth it. Yeah, see, I'm starting to reveal the card that's in front of it and that's like the rare pull. So I just leave the energy in so there's no chance of me accidentally revealing it. Uh, but we have the Kalancher, the Dolive, Metacham, Quaxwell, the Experience Share, Favillion as our first reverse. And our second, we have the Bombardier. And finally, we have a Cordon. Ironic. All right, let's move on to the set that followed that up with the Paldea Evolve with our, how do you pronounce that little ferret guy's name? Chin Pal? Chin Pal? I assume it's like Ch 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 Chow Pal. I don't know. I don't know how to say your name. I like him because he's a little ferret. Uh, pull that out and we have the Nimble the Mastiff and the Slackoth. We have the Paldean Whooper, the Spide Ups Passamon, very interesting little artwork there. Reversal Energy. I, I actually don't remember this. Maybe this is the first time I've seen this. Surely not, but maybe. Uh, we have the Sprigatito as a reverse. Always good to get starters as reverses. We have a Marl, uh, Marlil, how, however you want to say it. And we have a Wiggly Tough Hollow. And our second Paldea Evolved. Yeah, if you guys are wondering, I don't price check the hollows on screen because they're, they're guaranteed the price isn't going to be hot. Ooh, unless there's like one like specific hollow that for some reason is more rare, more sought after. Like they're, they're all going to be well under that dollar mark. It's just not worthwhile. Like most of the time you're looking at like 20 cents anymore now that they're guaranteed. Uh, we have Tink a Tink. Whoa, okay, that caught me off guard. We have the illustration rare. I assume it's a standard, not the special illustration. I still don't know exactly how to tell the difference down here. Uh, we have the Arctabax. 
Uh, why'd I forget your name? The your your final Evo. Why'd I forget the name? Backscalibur. I like used the hell out of that dude in uh, Scarlet and Violet. I definitely didn't care for its design at first, but it did a great job at growing on me. Anyways, I love the background of this card. It's just like colored pencil artwork. I'm, I'm, I'm always so happy to get the, these illustration rares, man. The trainer gallery, Galarian gallery, and now this. Just the best part of modern Pokemon. But behind that, we have a Quackavoli X. Okay, not bad. I mean, I don't know if anybody you know, how, how, how popular Quackavol is. I know most people tend to prefer Weedcat or, uh, the Fuecoco Boy Skeledurge, but we, we got that as well. And for our final pack from Brilliant Stars, maybe we can follow up our illustration rare with, uh, the cards that kind of started off that whole trend and get ourselves a trainer gallery. So there's the code card, and this time we actually do have to do three to the front, one out the back. And we have an Ultra Ball, a Banana Boy, and a Morgrim. Going on to the commons, we have the Gibble, the Trapinch, Execute, Starly, Shroomish, and Weavile. No trainer gallery. That's fine because behind it, we have a Guller. So, our only good pulls both came from the same pack, but I'll take them, especially our beautiful beautiful card here. But now it is time for the bonus card of the day. This is a segment where I buy cards specifically to go in this box until they're shown in this segment. Uh, I always shuffle them around. I usually forget what's in here by the time they're shown on camera. Yada, yada, yada. And I uh, actually just kind of saw it there for a minute. Uh, this boy is also in a standard sleeve. At least it's in a sleeve that tends to mean the person who had it beforehand saw some value in it. It does certainly have some uh, damage, mostly whitening like along the sides. That is its biggest uh, damage point. I wonder if that means this card is actually like used. I don't know how much you really get whitening from play, but yeah, there's there's definitely some damage to this guy. So I'm assuming it's a bit older. We have a hollow Groudon. This is actually an XY promo number 52 from back in 2015. Not the most exciting card to get as a bonus card of the day, but I, I like collecting some of the older promos, uh, especially ones that I don't already have. But again, promos don't tend to have the highest value, but sometimes they really do. So I don't know exactly what this guy has. I will pull up the price for him now. There it is. That's how much this Groudon is worth. But yeah, just a, just a nice looking hollow Groudon. It's gonna go back in this sleeve until I can get it in a better one this boy actually deserves. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button down below, give it a like, and most importantly, go check out some other videos. I'll have a playlist of all of my Pokemon videos on the screen, along with a random one that I think you may like. So again, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed, and hopefully, I will see all of you guys next time. Goodbye for now.